Hey everyone, it's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel and today is quite an exciting day because in today's video I'll be checking out XG's Chisa, Jiria, and Hanada's vocal performances all in one video thanks to an individual commenting and asking me if I could react to all three vocal performances. Okay, as some may know, I have really quickly grown to love all the members of XG and their music, of course. And uh, yeah, I am pretty sure I'm in for a treat seeing that Chisa's coming with Nobody Love by Tori Kelly, and I already know what Chisa is capable of. And then Jaria, she came through with a vocal performance of Dear Name, a classic by a legendary artist, of course, IU. And then immediately right after, I'll be checking out Hanada's vocal performance of a song called Ride by Soul, which I'm quite familiar of. Actually, one of my top favorite songs from Soul to Date and is an up and coming artist that keeps on coming through with uh, jammers and bangers, I've got to uh, say. But hey, without further ado, let's dive into these XG vocal performances now. All right, so I brought up the first vocal performance here by Chisa, and then immediately right after, queued up Jaria and Nada's vocal performances. I'm, I'm sorry guys, I'm just super excited to hear these vocal performances out, but let's go. Ooh, I'm loving the set that was done for her here. The neon lights and all. Oh. Oh my. Guys, I'm feeling this performance already. Here we go. Wow. Ain't nobody love. Ain't nobody love. Just look at her gesticulations, how she's handling the mic stand, how she expresses herself too in this performance. Just how she's effortlessly hitting each and every line and the, the, the notes that have to be hit in this song. Ain't nobody love, ain't nobody love like you. <laughs> every time. There's a turn discs. Nobody love. Ain't nobody love like you do. Ain't nobody love. Ain't nobody love like you do. Ain't nobody love like you do. Ain't nobody love like you do. Wow. 
Wow! Hold the phone, everyone, before I get into the other vocal performances. Chisa, what? Okay, one thing is, I know what Chisa is capable of, but it just seems like every video, whether it's XG's own music as a group, as a whole, or, you know, in the early stages of XG, the vocal, uh, like, uh, covers that I've, uh, seen already, uh, by the respective members and, like, dance, you know, performance slash covers at the same time. I'm like, okay, they're special. But Chisa, I was saying this about Chisa and Jiria, they might be the bias but after this vocal performance how chisa took me back down memory lane with nobody love by tori kelly which by the way you know i would say in her music tends to be very difficult i would say to come through it and match i would say tori kelly's kind of quality um because i feel like it's so hard, except for Tori Kelly herself, to come through and come through with a, a phenomenal performance. But Chisa here, she not only came through with that kind of, I would say, warmth that I get in Nobody Love, but like the vocal runs that she hits, the, I would have the, the how effortlessly she comes through with those peak moments in this performance vocally yet she's able to throw on a performance like i said with the gesticulations and uh the the facial expressions and how she works the mic stand and how she looks into the camera you know what i'm saying like the details by chisa are all considered and nothing is left out i'm feeling like i'm yuhi yul in this seat right now <laughs> not gonna lie guys if you guys are familiar with yuhi yul you see his re reactions to like really really good vocal performances or performances in general he's, he's like all frozen all stunned up and that's what i felt like speechless near the end of uh the performance or at right when we had that peak peak climax of a moment and all literally i got to say chisa one of the best best fourth gen vocalists out there crazy crazy um let's actually i want to hear that one more time before we get into the next uh vocal performance of course just just bring me back here i can tell because the new uh youtube system has the most replayed part of course it's here hey! she hits her higher register and it's a little, a, that low like that and then brings it all together here a really good vocalist i've got to say and i would say idol or artist really knows how to command the stage really knows how to command the performance and part of that is like some improvisation and like poof, chisa like come on like this entire performance from start to finish and like i said don't even get me started about the set this very sort of boxy set that's utilized with these vibrant colors these neon signs and all oh, you know it's like a really like sort of cute like bedroom i don't know like a classic type of uh, layout you know with the posters the typography on the posters like mm. like everything was on point especially uh, some of you may know i love purple and it looks like she has this like black and purple fit here Okay, I might as well just go through this all again. And 
Yeah. Now, some of you may know Tori Kelly and her music and what she's capable of. Her music tends to be very soulful. And I feel that soulfulness in Cheese's vocal performance, like it's matched there as the original, how it's supposed to be done. You feel me? Yeah, I'm feeling like you hear you right now. Jeez. Next, next vocal performance. Dear Name by Jaria. Oh no, I have a feeling that now all of a sudden we're switching into my feels because this song is so special to me. That's straight chills, guys. Right away in this. Yes. 
no way she just did that. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Where? Okay, I need to find my tissue. Bag. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. This vocal performance by Juria. Wow. Yet again. Took me back down somewhat memory lane in a different way. But also on, like, an emotional roller coaster like i feel like a wreck now in a good way like i said dear name is such a classic by a legendary solo artist iu of course if you're not familiar i feel like you should familiarize yourself with iu and her song dear name and iu in general and her entire discography and uh iu does have these songs that move you emotionally move you in a special way and i feel like for anyone to come through and cover or perform a classic by iu you gotta hit every moment right and when i mean moments there are certain songs by iu that feels like it's being story told Right, you know, the storytelling behind it, the overall movement of the song, like as it progresses, progresses due to the chord progression and all, it moves you in different twists and turns vocally, not necessarily instrumentally, right? And Juria here, she, I feel like she hit every right moment in the spot where I'm like, okay, here's come the climax part. I'm just like, she she not only met my expectations, she exceeded my expectations on Dear Name here. Like, come on. Considering, like, can we just appreciate also, like, the members, you know, taking the time to learn Hangul, to learn Korean and all, and come through, you know, with these vocal performances, right? Um, And I feel like, I, for one, okay, by no means, I, I'm way behind the likes of Jiria. I need to get my Korean down pat, but her, the way that she delivers her lines is just so beautiful and angelic, and she's got the storytelling down pat. She's got it down 110% right. Like, seriously, uh, I don't know... If you guys know what I'm saying, but it could only be felt to understand what I'm saying right now in terms of the storytelling. Like, come on. Like, from this... Let's go back here. Let's go back here. Let's go back here. What I also love is the set that was set up for her. The lighting... Um, whether it's post-production and the editing phases, but the same set, right, that Chisa utilized, but damn, they put, like, new wallpaper on, right, they, they brought in furniture, the right kind of styling for this, they set dressed this really well, and also the beautiful flower in her hair and all. Like, even the greenery, you know, the decorating of this. Here we go. This is, it's still climbing, it's going up, it's going a little bit down, and then wait for it, wait for it, everyone. Hands down my favorite part in Dear Name. Here we go, build up. No 
on second listen, it's crazy. It, it's gotcha. It really makes me want to see. I like. I know the odds of it happening, but hear me out. A Jiria Park Yoshin cover. A Jiria Yunha cover. I'd be down for that any time of the day. Okay, considering how she came through with Dear Name here originally by IU, that would be phenomenal. Because the the the, the, the likes I mentioned is Yunha and Park Hyoshin. If you guys are not familiar with those two soloists, familiarize yourself with them. Those two solo artists know how to storytell. And they have meaningful lyrics behind their songs and all. And I feel like she really can eventually in the future definitely come through with a solo debut. That is on this kind of sentiment. Whether it's a pop ballad, a ballad, you know. Crazy. Crazy. Well, let's get into the next vocal performance by Hanada now. Which is Ride by Soul. Oh, we're in the outdoor area instead now. Whoa. Love the subtitling for this. Ooh, the editing for this. <laughs> yes, I love these kind of perspectives that we get on Hanada here. Whether it's like this sort of like drone shot, I believe, or it's from the ground. Yeah, see what I'm saying. Suits Hanada, I've got to admit. Ooh, she even did it this part right. So adorable. Wow, the vocal layering in this performance. Really well done on the instrumentation side.
I've got to say, like, even in this slight moment right here, like, Hanada is just a vibe. She's a whole vibe. Like, I feel her. This is vibe along in this entire performance. And we wrap it up on this scene here? That is cool. That is cool. You know, I gotta say, I gotta say, all of these vocal performances, crazy, crazy good. Crazy, crazy uh, good. Yeah, this is what I was feeling, you know, I was, I, as I was putting down the video for you guys, I noticed the comments scroll down. And I noticed here, yes, this first comment, this is the first time I properly heard her sing. Give Hanada more lines, please. She sounds great. Say word. That is so true. Like, Hanada, I really love her voice. I really love her vocal color. And if we get a little bit more, or even more... Hey, I'm enjoying even more of XG's uh, music. Like, she's such an ace. Like, I would love to hear her sing uh, more. And I'd say the R&B genre really suits her, right? Ride by Soul, originally featuring Thama and all. I've said that to my uh, friends uh, in my Discord about Soul a long time ago. Mark my word, Soul um, is... A solo artist that I feel like is super underrated and thankfully she's been growing over time with each and every releases and I'm noticing a lot more covers of this but this vocal performance all in all like the details considered outdoor like um, field area with nice trees and greenery uh, flowers and all how they gave us different perspectives from the ground to drone shots uh for Hanada here and the different kind of props like that table that was being done right there at the very uh end and all like and how it was sort of like this whole almost like a music video a performance music video you feel me so all in all from these sets that were provided to Chisa, Jiria and Hanada and how each and respective member came through with their own vocal cover starting, right? Vocal performances from Chisa, right? Tori Kelly. Out of this world. Literally, uh, I'd say really solidifying as being the bias quite quickly there with this cover alone, I've got to say. You know, there then again, you know, I haven't dived into xg variety content if there are any xg variety content out there and then jaria dear name she killed it she slayed it in that performance that vocal performance like i said the storytelling how she delivers her lines how she projects herself in that and how the set was done for her it was so beautiful that it should look ethereal like that you know it should be like that for a beautiful song a masterpiece at the same time for my you and then of course ride by uh soul which very unexpected you know i, I don't expect uh this song to be, uh, pop up on my timeline that often but finally finally getting recognition but hanada if anything i got from this vocal performance wow uh she can really sing she can really sing and uh, she knows how to perform come through and perform and like sort of just have fun with it in the moment and I feel like when it comes to performances idols are restricted you know to certain things what they cannot do what they can do and all and just her vibing along having fun with it and being free for all about it it seems like it was just so lovely and pleasing to see I've got to admit so all in all None of these vocal performances were lacking by these respective XG members and I can't wait to check out more vocal performances or dance performances by any of the XG members or group 
uh, covers or performances in the future and of course new XG uh, music of uh, Core. So let me know your thoughts guys. Did you feel the same way that I did? Because, uh, wow, we're almost on that 30 minute mark. I'm sorry if I took so long, but I can't help it. You know, when I enjoy something, I gotta say I why I enjoy it and say obviously that I enjoy it and I love it. You know, I uh, give my reasoning and hey, I only speak the truth uh, here on the channel here and just keeping it genuine and truthful as always. But be sure to like, share, maybe subscribe as it helps out the channel so, so much and just warns my heart connecting with y'all about XG's Chisa. Jaria and Hanada in the comments section down below and their vocal performances and as always have a great day have a good night have a good afternoon wherever you are and peace